is an emotional day for Michael Jackson fans. People traveled from near and far to the estate in Los Olivos, formerly known as Neverland Ranch. News Channel 3 reporter Sharin Rajay spoke to one of Jackson's former employees who shares her memories of the King of Pop. Yeah, these are familiar pavements. Absolutely you. familiar pavement. So this is where all the fans would gather 365 days a year. Outside the gates of Neverland Ranch, Tracy Coppin walked me down memory lane. Here at Neverland, we were a family. We were a very close-knit family. And I miss that. I miss that. Coppin was the executive assistant to Michael Jackson for just short of a decade, giving tours to children visiting the ranch, catering to guests, and for the past five years since his death, she returns to pay her respects. It was a joy. Every day was a new day. You know, we were constantly entertaining and bringing joy to others. Um, that's what Michael was all about, was giving back, definitely giving back. Jackson was only 50 years old when he died at his home June 25, 2009 of an overdose of the anesthetic propofol administered by Dr. Conrad Murray just before the singer was about to launch a series of comeback concerts. We watched as fans trickled in throughout the day, leaving flowers, writing messages, and even remembering the pop icon's music. A, C. It's as easy as one, two, three. That's all I know. Six-year-old Aubrey took the time to write a personal message to the king of pop. Love, Aubrey. Now, for nearly 20 years, this estate was Michael Jackson's home and a pop culture landmark. And while there may not be a rush of media and fans out here today, some fans tell me this is still a place of peace. But as for the future in Neverland Ranch, that still remains unclear. I would love to see it be Neverland again and have it recreated, you know, similar to a Graceland. I think the fans would enjoy that. In Los Olivos, I'm Sharon Merger.